Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Nizzy Sports Chat. I am your host, Nizzy. And in this video, we're just going to be giving you a preview of the game tonight between the Raptors and Cavaliers. See if the Raptors can get back on the win streak again here after dropping their last game there. <clears throat> um, few injuries to start off here, you guys. We got Boucher is still out with his knee injury. I think he had an MCL sprain they had mentioned in the injury update after the last game there. So he will be out for probably the rest of the season until unless we make playoffs. I would think that he'll be able to come back for that. But most likely with a sprained knee, you're going to be out for a few weeks. So I wouldn't expect him to be back anytime soon. Uh, Paul Watson is also going to be missing this game with a knee injury. Same one he's been dealing with on and off all season here. And then Rodney Hood's a game time decision with a knee injury as well. And then on the Cleveland side of things, Colin Sexton is game time decision with a concussion. So... See what happens, you guys. We need this one badly today. Uh, yeah, Raptors got a gauntlet coming up after this game, man. So if we can't get shit done and handle business tonight, you know, there's a chance we'd be losing like six, seven in a row here. So uh, first game we played against the Cavs about a month back. We had lost to them 116-105. So we're calling Sexton just went off on us. And then we had a little bit better performance in the second game we played against the guys where we took them by a score of 135 to 115. Still got to get better defensively against these guys. We allowed them to get 116 and 115 respectively both games. So that defensive intensity has got to step up a little bit. Um, if we're allowing these guys to go for 115, 120 plus every game, you know, it's not going to be easy to keep winning against them. So defense needs to step up tonight. Um, I mean, after the last game with, what nurse was running on those rotations, man. I hope he decides to switch it up. I thought the rotations were terrible. I thought he just put the completely the wrong guys together on the floor at the same time. Um, I think running two small guards now just is not working for us, especially like if they were both in peak form right now, if we had Kyle Lowry and Fred Van Vliet, both peak peak performance right now, it wouldn't, wouldn't be as bad. Right. But when you got only one of the two guys seems to show up, you know, last game, Kyle had a rough one. Fred's had some rough ones in the past. You know, we just haven't had a lot of games this year where both them guys are hitting on all cylinders. Um, and it just hurts our three-point defense as well, just with having two six-foot guards in there. Our perimeter defense has been lacking. As you can tell, we allowed, what was it, I think 51% from three-point against the Knicks last game. So pretty atrocious. I think Gary Trent should get the start tonight personally at that shooting guard spot, but I'm guaranteeing Nick Nurse ain't doing that. I'll guarantee it's going to be the same freaking starting lineup as we ran uh, last game there. And then, I mean, I hope he gives the bench players some more time. I know, like, they didn't perform while well. you looked at, I think, a few of them, like Gary Trent was minus 22 or something, minus 33 last game. Gillespie was, like, minus in the minus 20s. I think Yuta was also in the minus 20s. Um... But one thing we got to remember with that, even though those guys were like severely in the minuses, there was two people on the floor with those three guys, which would have been either Pascal and Fred or OG and Kyle. So those guys were supposed to be kind of your generals on the floor, the guys that can go get you guaranteed buckets. And they just weren't doing good with the bench units. Um, I thought Malachi should have been running the bench unit. He should have had a lot more minutes last game. I mean, when they only play five minutes, you can't make any sort of impact in the game. So I really hope uh, Nick Nurse gives him a shot to play uh, tonight a little bit more. I'd like to see Gary Trent get the start over Kyle, personally, and have Fred slide over to the point guard slot, have Kyle come off the bench. And then I don't mind if you come off the bench and you're running like a two-man small game with uh, Malachi and Kyle. That's a little bit better, right? Because then you can stack up with big guys around them. Um, they're not putting out as many minutes as um, the main two on the floor either. So I would rather see them run Kyle off the bench and have Gary Trent start. I think Gary Trent just plays a lot better when he starts. So, um, And he kind of got comfortable in that role when we we're dealing with all that injury. And then he gets back to, you know, 15 minutes a game and sitting on the bench for half the game. <clears throat> and with a guy like Gary Trent, that guy needs to get into his shooting rhythm like pronto, like quick, man. And it just hurts him when he gets to sit and gets cold sitting on the bench for the first quarter. Um, Nick Nurse also just really overplays our starters, man. Like, when there's like a minute left in the first quarter and he's just starting to pull out his point guards and he's just starting to make some rotational changes to bench guys with a minute left, 
Like, it's just not, I don't know. I don't like it, man. I'd rather see him pull him with like four to five minutes to go. Sometimes he'll pull Cam Birch with like five, six minutes left in the first, and then he'll throw Gillespie in there. But I would like to see the whole starting lineup by the five minute mark or the four minute mark, unless one guy's just completely going off, then you leave him in there. But if these guys aren't going off and they're not really producing a lot of points, like yank them out of the game, man. Like what happened to just, you know, trying a new lineup, getting someone else out there who might be able to bang in a shot. Like Kyle Lowry shot one for 10 last game. If he's going to have another game like that tonight, I guess what guys, we're probably going to lose, right? So especially if he's going to play another 36 minutes at 35 years old. I mean, it's just insane to me that Nick Nurse is still using this guy um, to carry so much of the load. Like, I don't even think Kyle Lowry would be upset, even if you had him in a starting role and had the guy play like 25 minutes a game, 20 to 25 a game, and it just give so much more minutes to the other guys. He'd be able to be fresh, fresh legs for those full 25. He wouldn't have that 10, 11 minute stretch uh, kind of broken up throughout the game where he's, you know, exhausted and tired. And that goes for like Freddie and Pascal and them boys too, right? Because they, they all played 40 minutes last game. I mean, that is just a crazy amount of minutes, man. Especially for guys that had COVID earlier in the year and still aren't, in my opinion, they're not in mid-season form there. They'll have their, you know, games where they look like they're in mid-season form and then they'll kind of slack off for a game or two because their body's just not caught up, right? So, should be an interesting one tonight anyways, you guys. I mean, we shouldn't lose to the Cavs. I really hope we don't lose to the Cavs. This should be our game to take especially with the gauntlet we have coming up here after this. We're currently two games back of the play-in spot right now. Uh, Washington holds that 10 seed. The Bulls are in front of us, but they're tied with the same they're the same amount of games back as us. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but the next five games, man, oh my God. Raptors got after the Cavs. We got the Nets and then the Nuggets and then the Jazz and then the Lakers and then the Clippers, man. I mean, talk about a freaking gauntlet, right? And the Nets got KD back. I would assume he's going to be playing. So, I mean, if KD and Kyrie are both playing, I don't know if we can win that game, man. I don't have a lot of confidence in us winning if they got two of their three stars playing. Nuggets, I don't really have a lot of confidence in us beating them either. I mean, maybe because Jamal Murray's out, we get a lucky chance that uh, Jokic is going to have an off night there, but highly doubt it. Um, and then the Jazz, Lakers, and Clippers who are all battling for better playoff spots, right? So it's a tough road ahead, man. Really tough road for the Raptors coming up. I mean, let's try and get back in the win column, get a little more confidence under our belts here against the Cavs tonight, and then pre prepare for this five-game gauntlet stretch coming up against uh, a bunch of really good teams here. So anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. What do you think the Raptors' chances are of winning tonight? And do you think we'll be able to pull out a few wins on this gauntlet stretch coming up? But anyways, you guys, this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat signing off. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.